Hey, what's up you guys? It's Cash and today I'm bringing you a new video. I'm really excited about this video because I feel like there's always something to learn from these topics that we discuss here on the channel. And I hope that everyone's feeling rested and restored as we continue to navigate throughout the year. For those who are new to the channel, I hope you take the time out to review some of my content. And if this is something that you align with, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're enjoying the videos that I've been posting recently, smash that like button. So in today's video, I wanna talk about how I rediscovered my passion for fitness. And not just the passion itself, but the health benefits that came along with that, with creating some stability within my mindset and my perspective on life. So with the changes that I've noticed within myself by being more disciplined and consistent with going to the gym and eating better, I decided to make some notations of that and I would like to share that with everyone who's here watching the video today. Because if it helped me, I do feel like there's some areas in other people's lives that it could benefit them. And more so, that is just a simple reminder is like there's these little things in life that we could be doing that could improve our mindset and improve our perspective on how we view ourselves in a much more positive image. So with that being stated, let's just get right into the video. So I do believe that we can all agree that exercise is truly beneficial, whether we enjoy the process or not. There's been phases in my life, and maybe within yours as well, where you just simply avoid the gym. I know I've avoided the gym even having an active membership. And there's nothing worse than spending money on resources that you're not utilizing. And just a few months ago, I was in that exact position, spending money on a gym membership, but not showing up to do the necessary work to see the results that I'm striving for. You know, sometimes we have to take a deep look into the mirror and tell ourselves we're not on the right track. And that's something I had to do personally for myself. So you may be wondering, how did I go from a sedentary lifestyle to a lifestyle that's more active? First thing I had to find out is what feels good to me. There are so many options when it comes to health and wellness, whether you're choosing high intensity programs, Pilates, yoga, weight training, swimming, or cross country. You have a variety of options on the menu to select from, but you have to figure out what resonates with you. Personally, I rediscovered my love for weight training and I've incorporated with long distance swimming as well. Weight training is something that's familiar to me because I've been lifting weights since I can remember. On the other hand, swimming is a new challenge in my life for I've only been swimming for about eight months. One activity being the weight training that constantly gives me that feeling of overcoming something that's trying to weigh me down. And then the other activity, which is swimming, gives me the challenge of trying something new and not being afraid to fail. During this time of creating a new workout regimen, I had to find a bigger purpose on why I'm doing this. Because it's easy to say, I would like to have a body that looks amazing, my body fat's lower than 10%, and I have abs that can be on a magazine cover. But to me, that motivation wasn't enough to keep me showing up to the gym. It wasn't even enough to keep me active and exercising. Because for my own personal journey, that message felt too surface level. The number one reason that's motivated me to continue showing up to the gym and having a healthier lifestyle was the mental benefits. Through my own commitments on this journey, I've found out that exercise helps reduce a tremendous amount of anxiety and depression that I've experienced and to keep me in a place of stability where I feel like myself again. For my personal journey, that reason alone was big enough for me to show up and do this for myself. I never go into the gym with the mindset that this is going to defeat me. My body may feel tired, but I tell myself I have more to give. Now, the next part that I had to figure out is how can I be consistent at doing this? And there's a lot of factors that goes into this because we can push as hard as we want when it comes to exercise, but there's two additional factors that will keep us consistent. And that's our nutrition and our sleep recovery. So over these last three weeks, I've been taking some time to really track my calories and look into what diet feels right for me. And that's something that I'll be discussing in a further video. But for you to have the possibility of showing up consistently, you have to give your body the fuel that it needs to do the work that you're asking of it. So are you getting in enough protein if you're trying to build muscle? Are you giving your body enough carbs to generate fuel just to push through your workout? Do you know your goals? Are you looking to stay in a calorie deficit? Are you looking to stay in a calorie surplus? What's your objective with working out? For myself personally, I'm currently in a calorie deficit. I kind of let myself go and I'm on 
this new journey of rebuilding myself internally and externally. So with that, I'm okay with being vulnerable and showing you guys what that process looks like over these next few months. So currently I'm keeping my diet around a 60% intake of protein, 20% carbs, 20% fat. So a 60-20-20 split is what I'm currently using for my calorie deficit. And I'll make modifications as I see need be as I continue to track my fitness journey. We've all heard it before, there's no way you can outwork a bad diet. Some of the restaurants that's provided in America offer meals that exceed 500, 600, even up to 1,000 calories per meal. And when you look at what the average American burns in just a one hour gym session, you're looking at an average between 180 up to 260 calories burned. So when people say you cannot outwork a bad diet, if you just crunch those numbers right there, that'll show you that it's important to track your nutrition on a day-to-day -day basis. It's challenging to work out seven days a week. Some people will admit that they can do that. Some people will say they need at least two days off and five days on with working out. But for the rest of us, how often are we showing up to the gym? Hopefully three days. Even if it's not the gym, let's say we're just going to the park, we're gonna walk three miles. One thing I want all of us to realize is that we eat every day, not all of us work out every day. And so when you look at the numbers from that perspective, it's easy to see how your nutrition can outwork your diet by far. I'm currently committing myself to working out five days a week and it's hard to find the time, but it, more so you just make the time and the two off days, I'll at least go walk three miles in the neighborhood. These changes that I've made to my lifestyle and my diet has overall impacted my mood in such a positive way that I feel compelled to share this with you all and continue to document and narrate this journey so you can see someone in real time work through some of these obstacles that they have to overcome to not just achieve a certain look of a physical body, but just a mindset. I think the mindset is so important right now in these days to create a place of peace within ourselves so we can share that experience with others. The next thing I wanted to talk about is your recovery process. Are you getting enough sleep? Are you staying hydrated? No matter what we try to accomplish in life, whether it's mentally or physically, rest is a huge component in how effective we'll be with our production value. When we're looking to shape our mindset and shape our bodies into the person we know we're capable of becoming, rest is such a huge component. When you look at it from the perspective of muscle growth, a lot of the protein building amino acids get released during our sleeping period, which means the faster our muscles can recover from a workout, creates a quicker turnaround time for them to be prepared to work out again. So when you have an amazing workout at the gym, whether it's a full body workout or you're specifically working on your legs or your chest, when your muscles are fatigued, you'll experience a deeper sleep. Also with that deeper sleep, you'll feel well rested, which means your mindset will be more clear. You won't experience brain fog and feel like you have the capability to be more efficient throughout your workday. And some of the clips that you're seeing, it's not that I feel 100% confident about myself and the way that I look, but I'm at peace with that. Because it's not about where I am today, it's about the journey that continues to lead me to the person I know I'm capable of being. So don't wait for a perfect time to create some movement in your life. Don't wait for you to feel comfortable within the gym clothes that you have. Don't wait for it to be a bright sunny day to go to the gym. The perfect time is now. I always say the hardest part about working out is just getting to the gym. If we can consistently overcome those mental hurdles that prevent us from stepping out and challenging ourselves, that's when we'll create opportunities and spaces for us to exceed our own expectations. So while you're on your journey for physical fitness, eliminate those critical thoughts. Don't compare yourself to someone who's been showing up to the gym more consistently than you and who's already seeing the results that you're seeking. Be at peace that you showed up today. Don't be so quick to envy what the other person has because we don't know the price they pay to get that. And no matter what your age is, it's never too late to start becoming more active. You can be a person who has limited range of motion, there's classes for you. You can be a person who suffers from inflamed joints, there's classes for you. You can be a person who doesn't like being in the gym, maybe your thing is to be outside. You just have to figure out what lights you up so you can be committed to the journey and the process. So with some of the video clips that you're seeing at the time of the recording, uh, my body weight was around 230 pounds, and the clips towards the end of the video where I'm outside, I'm currently down to 227. 
I don't have a set target weight in mind because weight loss isn't the primary objective for me, even though I'm committed to being in a calorie deficit. I'm just happy with the overall feeling that fitness is providing for me. And so whenever you decide to get back into working out, you have to know your why. So I know this is a lifelong journey that I'm committing to, but I'm happy about the timing of this new commitment. Some people will tell me that I have nothing to prove and I shouldn't be going as hard as I do in the gym sometimes, but this is something that I'm doing for me specifically. I hope this video motivates you enough to step outside today and create some type of activity and movement within your body. If it's too challenging to do this alone, reach out to some of your friends, see if they're willing to contribute to this lifestyle. This will be a great opportunity for everyone to grow together and experience the physical and mental benefits of exercise. Maybe you and your significant other try Pilates, do something new together. But whatever you choose to do, make sure it's something you can commit to over the long term. So within the next couple of weeks, I'll be breaking down some of the meal plans that I've been putting together, some of my nutritional guides, and I hope that you find value within that. I wanna thank you for watching today's video. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel if, so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I post throughout the week. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.